This video will be a GDNT symbols overview, specifically on the geometric characteristic symbols and looking at the categories that they fall under. Now, this would be covered in Unit 1 of our Geotel Fundamentals program, which is linked in the description below. Now, geometric tonsing is a feature-based tonsing system, and we say that all features can vary in three ways, form, orientation, and location. And if you have a feature of size, then it can vary in one more, which is size. Now, size is just a good old plus minus, and that's going to control how big and how small a feature can be. Another key thing with size is through something called rule number one, which we'll talk about in another video, it also controls form. And I think that makes sense. If you have a hole and you give it a size taunts, this is the smallest it'd ever be, and this is the biggest it'd ever be, so that size taunts would automatically control the shape of the feature as well. And that is what form is. Form is just controlling the shape of something. And when you say the shape of something, it's not relative to anything else. It's just going to be relative to itself. So we have four symbols that actually control form. Flatness, straightness, circularity, cylindricity. And they're all shapes. How flat is that surface? How straight is that edge? How circular is that bearing? How cylindrical is that hole? And they're all just shapes to itself. Big thing with these is no datums. So when you say, I want something to be flat, you're going to have just two thou relative to itself, no datums involved with those. All right, so that's size and form. And form is actually pretty rare because size talents usually takes care of this. Circularity, cylindricity, and straightness are all baked in with your plus and minus. The only big one we use there is flatness because surfaces don't have a size talent, so you put a flatness on those. All right, let's talk about the next category, orientation. Now, orientation is kind of a big word. I want to control the orientation of my screen. I want to control the orientation of my TV. You want to think tilt slash angle. That's what orientation is about. Tilt, angle, how it's rotated relative to something else. So we have three symbols there, perpendicularity, parallelism, and angularity. And it's pretty simple. Perpendicularity is used for 90 degrees. Parallelism is used for zero degrees. And angularity? That's other degrees. But they all mean the same thing. It's just the orientation, tilt, or angle of something relative to a datum. And speaking of relative to, when you say perpendicular within 0.3 millimeters, you can't just say perpendicular to nothing, like perpendicular to the axis of the Earth or something. You always have to reference your datum. At least one, and sometimes you could have multiple datum features here. Now this brings us to the last category, location. Location is actually the most important. They actually say that the three most important things in tolerancing, location, location, location. I think that's real estate, but it definitely applies to geometric tolerancing. It's all about locating those features onto your part. So you want to control where it is on your part. You want to control its placement, its distance relative to something else. And that's where we use our two big symbols, position and profile. Position is for features of size, holes, slots, tabs, pins that have a well-defined axis or center. We locate those with a position symbol. And profile, well, those would be covered for all of our surfaces. And that's most things, actually, could be applied with profile tonsing. So features of size, size features, and then features without size, which is another name for surfaces. There is maybe one more that can fall in this category, and that would be runout. Runout is also a location tolerance. It's specialized, though, because it's used for coaxial controls. So it has to be a datum that's on the center. It's an axis, where these could be used more versatilely, used in holes, pins, slots, surfaces that are off the center or anywhere on your part. So those are the main categories you want to think about with tolerancing. And I ask questions, you know, what's important on your part? Oh, I care about how it's tilted or angled. Oh, then you probably need an orientation control. I care about where it is and like its distance relative to something else. You said where, you said distance, you probably need a location control. And remember, size tolerance controls form. So we don't need this a lot, but every once in a while you have a big size tolerance, you want to refine the form, sometimes that can be needed. But I'd say our big symbols we use all the time are position and profile. So really quick overview, and of course this is all covered in our fundamentals course. Unit 1 here is where we start, and that's going to be our Geotile fundamentals course, which is linked in the description below. Thanks for the likes, and see you next time.